William Pitt 1804-1806. The early 19th century was a tumultuous period in European history, characterized by the Napoleonic Wars and the complex political landscape of the time. As William Pitt the Younger assumed the role of Prime Minister in 1804, Europe was embroiled in a struggle for supremacy, with Napoleon Bonaparte's France emerging as a dominant force. The British Isles faced economic challenges, and the Napoleonic Wars exerted tremendous pressure on the nation's resources. The global geopolitical landscape was in flux, and the decisions made by leaders like Pitt would shape the destiny of nations. Against this backdrop, Pitt's leadership during the years 1804 to 1806 was pivotal, influencing not only the fate of Britain but also the course of European history. William Pitt the Younger was born into a political dynasty on May 28, 1759, as the second son of William Pitt, 1st Earl of Chatham. His upbringing was immersed in the world of politics, and from an early age, he was exposed to the debates and discussions that unfolded within the influential Pitt family. Raised in an environment where political discourse was a way of life, Pitt's education was shaped by his father's tutelage and the intellectual milieu of the time. Despite health challenges, Pitt received a rigorous education, attending Pembroke College, Cambridge. His academic pursuits reflected a keen interest in classical studies, philosophy, and law. These intellectual foundations would later contribute to his eloquence and rhetorical prowess in the political arena. Pitt's entry into politics was swift and marked by a precocious talent for oratory. His political journey began in earnest when he was elected as the Member of Parliament for Appleby in 1781, at the age of 22. His rapid ascent within political circles was propelled by his exceptional debating skills and a deep understanding of economic and financial matters. Just two years after entering Parliament, Pitt found himself catapulted into the position of Prime Minister in 1783, becoming the youngest person ever to hold this office. This meteoric rise was a testament to his political acumen and the confidence that both colleagues and the public placed in his ability to navigate the challenges facing the nation. Pitt's initial term as Prime Minister, 1783 to 1801, was characterized by a series of formidable challenges. The aftermath of the American Revolutionary War, coupled with economic instability and internal dissent, presented significant hurdles. Pitt focused on financial and administrative reforms, working to stabilize the economy and strengthen Britain's position on the global stage. However, his leadership faced obstacles, including opposition from political rivals and the complex issue of parliamentary reform. Pitt resigned in 1801, partly due to the failure of his efforts to address Catholic emancipation and other pressing issues. The challenges faced during his first tenure did not deter Pitt's commitment to public service. He returned to power in 1804 amid escalating tensions with Napoleon's France, recognizing the need for a strong and stable government to address the pressing issues of the time. His second term, which forms the focus of this discussion, reflects his resilience, adaptability, and enduring dedication to steering Britain through tumultuous times. The examination of his earlier experiences as Prime Minister provides valuable insights into the foundations that shaped his later leadership during the critical period of 1804 to 1806. The circumstances leading to William Pitt the Younger's return to power in 1804 were intricately tied to the escalating tensions and challenges faced by Britain on the international stage. The Napoleonic Wars were in full swing, and Napoleon Bonaparte's expansionist ambitions cast a shadow over Europe. The resumption of hostilities between Britain and France prompted a re-evaluation of leadership, and there was a growing consensus that Pitt's experience and strategic vision were essential for navigating the perilous geopolitical landscape. The death of Henry Addington, Pitt's successor as Prime Minister, in 1804, created a political vacuum. Addington's perceived indecisiveness in handling the escalating conflict with France had eroded support and there was a palpable desire for a leader with the resolve to confront the challenges posed by Napoleon. In this context, Pitt's return to power was not merely a political comeback but a response to the pressing need for a seasoned statesman capable of steering Britain through the tumultuous waters of war. The period of Pitt's return to power in 1804 was marked by a series of key political and global events that shaped the context of his leadership. The Napoleonic Wars, which had erupted into a full-scale conflict, dominated the international scene. 
Napoleon's attempts to establish dominance over continental Europe posed a direct threat to Britain's security and global influence. The Battle of Trafalgar in 1805, where Admiral Nelson's Royal Navy defeated the combined French and Spanish fleets, was a pivotal moment that affirmed Britain's naval supremacy. Domestically, the economic challenges stemming from the ongoing conflict demanded innovative solutions. Pitt faced the task of managing the war effort, ensuring financial stability and sustaining public morale. The global context required a delicate balance of diplomatic finesse and military strength to protect Britain's interests and curtail the spread of Napoleon's influence. Upon his return to power, William Pitt the Younger outlined a comprehensive agenda that reflected his astute understanding of the challenges facing Britain. His priorities were multifaceted and aimed at addressing both domestic and international concerns. Economic Stability Pitt recognized the importance of a robust economy to sustain the war effort. His agenda included financial reforms, tax policies, and measures to bolster trade and industry. The creation of a stable economic foundation was vital for funding military operations and maintaining the country's fiscal health. War Strategy Given the ongoing conflict with France, Pitt focused on refining Britain's military strategy. This involved strengthening the Royal Navy, coordinating with allies, and devising effective campaigns to counter Napoleon's forces. The Battle of Trafalgar, though occurring shortly after his return, showcased the effectiveness of these strategic efforts. Diplomacy and Alliances Pitt engaged in diplomatic initiatives to build and strengthen alliances against Napoleon. His diplomatic efforts were aimed at creating a united front among European powers opposed to French expansionism. Collaborative efforts were seen as crucial to the overall success of the anti-Napoleonic coalition. Domestic Reforms Pitt's agenda extended beyond wartime measures. He sought to address long-standing domestic issues, including the question of Catholic emancipation. Although this particular initiative faced challenges, it demonstrated Pitt's commitment to political and social reforms even in the midst of a global conflict. By strategically addressing these priorities, Pitt aimed to provide comprehensive leadership that would safeguard Britain's interests both at home and abroad. His return to power in 1804 marked a critical juncture in British history, as the nation grappled with the complexities of war and diplomacy under his experienced guidance. One of the cornerstones of William Pitt the Younger's domestic policies during his term from 1804 to 1806 was a focus on economic reforms and prudent financial management. The ongoing Napoleonic Wars exerted tremendous strain on Britain's economy, necessitating innovative approaches to ensure the sustainability of the war effort. Income Tax and Revenue To fund the war, Pitt reintroduced income tax in 1803. This tax, albeit initially temporary, played a crucial role in generating revenue for the government. Pitt's economic policies aimed at striking a balance between financing the military and preventing excessive taxation that could burden the populace. Financial Stability Pitt sought to establish financial stability by addressing the national debt and implementing measures to manage expenditures efficiently. His approach included careful management of government finances and efforts to reduce unnecessary expenses, all while maintaining the necessary funding for the war. Banking and Currency Recognizing the importance of a stable banking system, Pitt worked to strengthen the Bank of England. His policies aimed at ensuring a reliable currency and stable financial institutions, contributing to overall economic resilience during a period of global conflict. Pitt's domestic policies extended beyond economic considerations to encompass social and legal reforms. Despite the pressing challenges of war, he recognized the need for progressive measures to address long-standing issues within British society. Catholic Emancipation Although Pitt had been an advocate for Catholic emancipation throughout his political career, his efforts faced resistance. During this period, he continued to pursue measures aimed at granting political rights to Catholics. However, the opposition within Parliament and the broader public sentiment proved formidable, leading to the eventual shelving of the emancipation agenda. Legal Reforms Pitt implemented various legal reforms during his tenure. These included measures to improve the efficiency of the legal system and enhance access to justice. His commitment to legal reform aimed at creating a more just and responsive legal framework. 
The period from 1804 to 1806 presented William Pitt with numerous domestic challenges and criticisms, particularly as the war effort intensified and the economic consequences were felt by the population. Social unrest. Economic pressures and the impact of war led to social unrest in certain parts of the country. Pitt responded by implementing measures to address the grievances of the working class and alleviate economic hardships. However, the effectiveness of these measures varied, and social tensions persisted. Criticism and Opposition Pitt's leadership faced criticism on multiple fronts. Opposition politicians questioned the handling of the war, economic policies, and perceived inadequacies in addressing social issues. The debate over Catholic emancipation, in particular, drew sharp criticism and created divisions within both the government and the broader political landscape. Legacy of Reforms Despite the challenges and criticisms, Pitt's domestic policies left a lasting legacy. His economic reforms contributed to the long-term financial stability of the nation, and his efforts to address social and legal issues set the stage for future reforms. While some initiatives faced opposition or were postponed, the groundwork laid by Pitt would influence the trajectory of British domestic policies in the years to come. In examining Pitt's domestic policies during this period, it becomes evident that his leadership was characterized by a delicate balancing act, addressing immediate wartime needs while laying the foundations for a more resilient and just society in the aftermath of conflict. During William Pitt the Younger's term from 1804 to 1806, foreign policy played a crucial role in shaping the course of events. The geopolitical landscape of Europe was dominated by the Napoleonic Wars, and Pitt's approach to relations with other European powers was central to Britain's strategy. Coalition Building Recognizing the threat posed by Napoleon's expansionist ambitions, Pitt worked tirelessly to build and sustain coalitions with other European powers. This diplomatic strategy aimed to unite nations against a common enemy and counterbalance the growing influence of France. Key allies included Austria, Russia, and Prussia, among others. Military Alliances In addition to diplomatic efforts, Pitt strengthened military alliances to create a formidable coalition against Napoleon. The alliances were designed not only to defend British interests but also to prevent the consolidation of French power across Europe. Collaborative military campaigns and coordinated strategies were integral to these alliances. The Napoleonic Wars, a series of conflicts involving Napoleon Bonaparte's French Empire and various European coalitions, defined the era and posed significant challenges for Pitt's government. Naval Supremacy A cornerstone of Pitt's strategy was the maintenance of British naval supremacy. The Royal Navy, under the command of Admiral Nelson, played a pivotal role in securing maritime dominance. The decisive victory at the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805, though occurring after Pitt's death, was a testament to the effectiveness of British naval power. Continental Campaigns Pitt recognized the need for a comprehensive approach to the conflict. While the Navy secured British interests at sea, military campaigns on the European continent were essential. The British Army, alongside coalition forces, engaged in campaigns such as the Peninsular War, which aimed to thwart Napoleon's control over the Iberian Peninsula. Economic Warfare Pitt employed economic measures as a form of warfare against France. The Continental System, an attempt to blockade British trade and weaken its economy, led to a British naval blockade in response. This economic warfare had profound consequences for both sides, contributing to the complexity and intensity of the conflict. Pitt's foreign policy was marked by both diplomatic achievements and setbacks, reflecting the intricacies of navigating a complex international environment. Diplomatic Achievements Pitt's diplomatic efforts resulted in notable achievements. The creation and maintenance of coalitions against Napoleon demonstrated his skill in diplomatic maneuvering. The alliances provided essential support for British military endeavors and contributed to the broader balance of power in Europe. Setbacks and Challenges The changing dynamics of European politics and the unpredictable nature of war presented significant challenges. The frequent realignments among European powers, internal dissent within coalition nations, and the sheer scale of the conflict posed formidable obstacles. Pitt's death in 1806 further complicated diplomatic efforts, as subsequent leaders grappled with maintaining the cohesion of the anti-Napoleonic coalition. Legacy of Diplomacy While Pitt did not live to see the conclusion of the Napoleonic Wars, 
his diplomatic legacy endured. The alliances forged during his tenure laid the groundwork for later coalitions that ultimately contributed to Napoleon's defeat at the Battle of Leipzig in 1813 and the subsequent Congress of Vienna in 1814 to 1815. William Pitt the Younger's leadership during the critical period of 1804 to 1806 is subject to both historical acclaim and scrutiny. A thorough evaluation reveals the complexities of navigating a nation through the tumultuous Napoleonic era. Strategic Vision Pitt's return to power in 1804 demonstrated a strategic vision that sought to address the multifaceted challenges of war, economic strain, and diplomatic complexities. His emphasis on economic stability, military preparedness, and coalition building highlighted a nuanced understanding of the interconnected issues facing Britain. War Leadership The handling of the Napoleonic Wars showcased Pitt's commitment to maintaining British naval supremacy and engaging in continental campaigns. While his death in 1806 meant he did not witness the ultimate victory at Waterloo, his strategic groundwork contributed to the overall success of the anti-Napoleonic coalition. Economic Management Pitt's economic reforms, including the reintroduction of income tax, demonstrated pragmatism in addressing the financial needs of the war effort. The long-term impact of these measures laid the foundation for financial stability in post-war Britain. In conclusion, William Pitt the Younger's tenure from 1804 to 1806 is a pivotal chapter in British history, showcasing a leader grappling with the complexities of war, diplomacy, and economic stability. His legacy endures not only in the policies and reforms initiated during his time but also in the broader impact on the trajectory of British governance and the understanding of a transformative era in European history. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.